622, we have a very special treat for you this morning. I am joined by Grammy Award winning musician, recent Kennedy Center honoree, and all around music legend, the one and only Garth Brooks. Uh, Garth, there he is. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. We are very excited to have you here. Good to see you. Good morning, man. I, I can't tell you how excited we are. I'm so happy that everything's back up and running for us. Thank God. And hopefully it will continue that way and just, uh, getting back to playing music. I, I love it, I've missed it. Hence the reason for this interview, uh, you're returning to stadium touring. Uh, you're gonna be in Baltimore and uh, tickets for that event go on sale tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. You'll be at M&T Bank Stadium for the first time, first time in this area in six years. How excited are you to get back out on the road and do full shows like this? Very excited. You know, you, you have your 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 worries and your doubts about everything. Like, can you still do this? Do we still know how this whole thing works? And then your your big worry is, how are the people? Are they taken care of? Is it going to be a safe experience? And it's been great. Some people wear masks. Uh, most of them don't. But the the plea is not to look strange at either one of them. Uh, we're all in this together, and we're all kind of coming out of this thing. Hopefully, it's it's on our it's on our backs, and and hopefully we're coming out of this at our own kind of speed. Each and one. So respect each individual in that place and be one and sing and have a great time. And it's been a joy so far. Great attitude. Uh, we, you know, we are seeing an uptick in the numbers with the new Delta variant. Are you nervous at all? Are you a little bit concerned about what could happen in the weeks ahead? Yeah, I think you would be crazy not to be concerned, but I, I think if there's one thing, hopefully we've learned in the last year and a half, just follow the rules, man. Just do the hand cleaning thing. And, you know, if it's a mask mandate, wear that mask mandate. It ain't going to hurt. Let's do this for just a little bit of our lives so the rest of our lives can hopefully be lived safe and, and long and healthy. We just found out who the new Kennedy Center honorees are. You were one of the honorees last year. You've gotten every award possible. Uh, tell me what this particular one meant to you. Kennedy Center was pretty cool. Uh, I think Dick Van Dyke said it best. He goes, what's next, knighthood? And then uh, Midori's right there, the right of me. She's going, you know what? Uh, I think some people look at this as the pinnacle. I thought she looked at it as the beginning. It challenged her to be even better. I was floored by that answer. So it makes me want to be, even this late in my career, it makes me want to make the next gig we play the best gig we've ever played. One of the reasons uh, I'm glad to talk to you today, uh, you did something very interesting. I, I believe you've self-identified as a Republican, but you performed at the inauguration of President Biden. Um, tell me why you did that and what you think about where we are now with the partisanship in Washington. Oh, I, I, you know, it's kind of it's kind of weird because for one, let's talk about the Republican Democrat thing. This is my chance to serve. My father was in the Marine Corps. My brother was in the Army, one of the Air Force. And so I never served in the military. So this is my chance to serve. So when you get called by a president, no matter no matter what Republican or Democrat or what they are, that's an honor to get to be there. So, yes, thank you for letting me get a chance to uh, kind of uh, do my service uh, for this country. And then as far as where we're at right now, I thought we were so separated, but we were lucky enough to go uh, uh, right before the pandemic. We were lucky enough to get an award within D.C. there. Um, the Gershwin Prize, and there they were, Republicans, Democrats, all split down the middle. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you know, they've got their arms around each other, all singing, I've got friends in low places. So I think music is a great healer. I think it's the bridge between all of us. And uh, just, just so, so proud to be an American citizen and very, very lucky to have the opportunity to disagree in this country because when we disagree, figure it out, the best ideas hopefully are going to come from that. Well, we are very lucky you're coming to this area. Baltimore in October. Tickets go on sale tomorrow for uh, your tour at M&T Bank Stadium. Uh, tickets on sale tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Garth Brooks, thank you so much. Uh, our director, Adam, is a huge fan. Can you say hi to Adam real quick? Thanks for hearing the music, pal. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, man. Garth Brooks, we appreciate it.